I come to another edition of Einstein Engine Shooter. In this series of the tutorial, we've been seeing how to draw different types of input. In this edition of the tutorial, we're going to be drawing a more difficult type of input. That seems difficult, but I can show you. I can assure you that it is very easy. So without wasting most of our time, is what our prototype will look like. Let's begin to draw our drawing. So we know that the first thing to do is to offset the 600 mm extension. We've been following the series of the tutorial, you should know that by now. So we'll click on O, shortcut key for offset, click on 600 mm. Enter. Like this. So next thing is to find your roof ridges. That is to be at 45 degrees. Click on this, up this, see 7000. Remember, see you can fit any distance. Your angle must be at 45 degrees. So we have 45 degrees. I have that. So to avoid repetition, we just mirror this. Point to this side. Good point, not correct. Yes. Mirror. So we describe it a bit longer. What am I expected to do? Three. Change this. So, to avoid continuous repetition of the angle, I'll just be, I'll just be copying. Copying them. Copy this. And of my orthogonal. Orthogonal. Copy it to this edge. So, like this. Print this also, copy it, and here I place it. This will try to trim off. Trim off. Trim off. So the next part of it is for me to still copy this to the edge. Copy this, this edge. Still copy this. To this edge tool, trim off. So the next thing for me to copy Going to this edge, copy this, this. Copy it also to this edge. See, there are no meetings, so in this case, instead of two, I'll extend. So, extend. so I'll trim off the access, right? Like this. So, for this case, I would like to extend this to this point so that I want to look more a little bit aesthetic. So, extend. This is why for me to extend this, it is not extended because what it is a polyline. So we we'll polyline, a polyline acts like a block. So what I will do is first come here, I'll click on the line, I'll explode it. So exploding it will discover I'll be able to select a part of it. So I'm gonna say extend, I'll extend this point to touch. Yes, I'll extend it. So I'm gonna Copy this to continue my drawing. Copy it, bring it here. So it is not properly placed. Let's come to the edge, copy. So copy this. Okay, okay now. So I will link the two, the line. And the next still for me to copy this. Copy this. Have it copy. Copy it. Copy it. Like this. So I will extend that line. Extend it. I also extend this. So this is where we are meeting. So I'm going to trim up the excess. 
this of the case of the digital. So I have this. So you discover that since this is coming this way, I should have another one that is going this way. Since there's no edge towards here that was going to meet up with this one at this point. So I have to copy this. Put it this way. Put it like this. Right. Also, to complete this part of the roof, I'm supposed to have another edge going this way. But to make it more aesthetic, instead of having a shorter thing as here, I would like to extend this to touch this. So I'll say extend, come here, and extend this. So just like a little tip, if you want to extend, if the line is you, you extend horizontally, if what you want to pick is going in the horizontal direction, and you discover on this side I extended, I think vertically, am I correct? Yes, vertically here. Yeah. So if I'm extending, if I want to form an angle in the vertical direction, extend vertically. But if I'm forming an angle in the horizontal, I should try to extend horizontally. So that's just a quick render. So I'll pick this, still pick this, copy, come to this point, place it. So you see it's not getting to this point, I have to extend it. So I'll say extend. So that way to know where I'm supposed to stop. I'm supposed to come here, pick my line command, and extend here to here. It's not going straight. You can click on, click on, click on this, then I have to chain off. And click on chain off. Chain off like this. So I, but you also notice that there's an angle here that needs to be formed. So I'll come here and copy this and go back to that angle. So I'll put it like this and off this. I'm not quite easy to pick it. Then the next part, okay, I'm still having an angle here, but in this case, I would like to stretch it since it's coming to vertical or extend it in a vertical direction. Extend this like this. I have this. I'm going to copy this one. Copy it like this. And the side color. It is somewhere here. Have something like this. So since this has got into its end, it's supposed to have another angle coming in this direction, which is going to continue that. So to do that, I can easily come back and copy this one. Bring it in this direction. I have this. So to know the end of this, I have to extend it. I'll say extend because this have that so I have to trim off the SS. So trim. Okay, and trim it off. So you see our roof is fast looking like what we have in the prototype. So I still need to make some make some amendment. So for this one, I'll come here, it's a copy. Let's come and work on this side of the roof. Bring it to this side. So I have um, let me extend a bit. Say so extend so that it's not too close. So I have something like this. So now I'm going to copy this. This, like this, like this. So I can draw my vertical line. I have to be sure that this is well clicked so that I know that it's going vertically. So I have this. So I'm going to trim. Trim. So since I'm going this way, I know that the next direction is to go in this direction. I have to go and pick the line going in that direction. I just copy it, come here, place it and see. Are we in order? Check. Yes, we are still in order. So I have something like this. When you discover that there is also another edge coming in this direction, so I would like to extend it vertically. I say extend. Then vertically, so I'm going to pick this, copy it, copy it, let it like this. You see, this is already forming an edge here, so I have to click like this, the line command, and extend it so that this is on whenever I want a line, so that that is on. Trim off the excess. So 
you want to so you have to be looking nice okay, to get this so since i have a line that is going this way the next one has to be coming in this direction so you can come here and pick a shorter one so copy it bring it at about this way i'll be able to make it comfortably bring it to, towards this point i have something like this all right this yeah, are we still in order okay yes so i'll turn off this turn off this i well, think this has gotten to its end so it has to be linked by a vertical line so I'll click on my order like this so i have something like this so i'll extend this to meet it let's see what it's going to form are we still in order with our roof yeah I think we are still in order. Yes, 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 yes. Let me see. Okay, let's have this up. See, delete. Let's trim. So, this will trim out this. So, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. The next part of it is for us to come on have something out of the room coming in this direction since this is coming in this direction and let's see how we're going to do that so let's copy this short one copy this put it here in the middle of this like this so i think what is left for us now to do is to extend this let's see extend let's see extend so I have this we we'll have to trim up the SS. Turn it up. We we'll have this. So I think it's still nice to leave this too. After having that, I'll come up with this. Like this. I can perfect change here that it's going to be a stone line. With that final piece of the roof, I think, should go this way. Let's use a line to join them. Like this. You will discover that if you notice the angle, it is 45 degrees. You can see it. Let me zoom out. I'm putting it like this. You see it's 45 degrees. I click. So, okay. I think we are good to go. Our roof is fast looking like what we have. So, the last piece that is left is for us to hatch. And in the previous tutorial, I've taught us how to hatch. So, I'll just pause the video, then hatch, then you see how it is going to look better. Finally, we we'll did this. I think we we'll escaped. So, if we compare it to the present time, it is rather well like true. So anyway, with that, we we'll come to the end of the edition of the tutorial. So, subscribe to our channel, like, share our videos, view them, drop comments if you have any questions. You can drop your comment and be sure to receive quick and accurate answers. Let's encourage our friends to come and learn new things also. God bless you. Thank you for your time. And see you in the next edition of our tutorial.